Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at four funk riffs to help you get to grips with the genre. The first funk riff that I want to talk about is one that's not, probably not known as a funk one, but to me it encompasses all of what you need. Syncopation, a good steady bass line, and something that you can groove along to, which is Alt J's Left Hand Free. For some reason, it's been one of those really popular videos that I made a long time ago when I was comparing out guitars, and it's one that's moved on because that riff is iconic. In its own indie little way, it is a fantastic little riff. Here it is. See if you can play along. next riff is probably one of the most iconic funk riffs and anyone says to you to describe the genre of funk you might think of this gentleman James Brown and I got you I feel good it's a beautiful riff where you learn to strike a chord and hold the sustain underneath your fingers while having some smoothness across the notes you move from side to side without strumming you also get to move up and down the neck quite quickly so you learn your triads and your chord shapes and you also have a little riff on the outro at the end that kind of gets you in a nice syncopated groove The next one is a probably another iconic riff, but it's more like a bass line. There isn't actually that much of a guitar part in this particular piece, but it is Stevie Wonder's Superstition. That keyboard part, that bass line, they all fit together to give its own groove. So when you play it on the guitar, you get to move around that pentatonic shapes that you get. And it's a really fun one for in terms of getting your right hand moving in time with your left in with the drum beat. It's a brilliant one. Have fun with it. The last riff is called Pick Up The Pieces by The Average White Band. Now, why did I pick this one out of any other funk riff? Well, it is one where you can use the pentatonic scale as a lead line and a bass line with chords all at the same time. And to me, from my youth and growing up with this particular riff that I know there's a whole band performing the piece, being able to do all the separate parts together is really fulfilling and I think that as an Something to learn that you can get all those techniques in one, I think is really useful. Have fun with it and have fun with all the riffs. Loving all the funk styles. If you have any suggestions for things you'd like to learn, please feel free to holler them my way. Thanks very much. See you for the next one. 